Hello, welcome. This is Sean with Backflow Supply and today I have with me Jim Reese and Ron White who have developed a new product. Now we normally deal with backflows that go on culinary systems, but today they have a product that they've developed to go on sewer lines when there's a uh, backflow of the sewer into your home or commercial building. And this is what it looks like when you get it and Jim will talk a little bit about that as we're going along. Uh, I also want to point out that we have had our masks on since we're doing this in the middle of COVID, but we took it off um, to do this so you can see our mouths and hear us a little bit better. Jim, tell us about this product you developed and we've got a simulator set up here. And tell us what it's going to do and represent for us. Well, thank you, Sean. We're excited about this product. We're very happy to be able to tell you a little bit about it. This represents the, the sewer system that goes from your building or home or businesses out to the street. Here we have a power supply and we've hooked up a pump here that Sean's going to push the button here in a minute and do a demonstration to show you what it looks like, uh, get a simulation of what your drains would look like during a backflow. Okay, so real quick, this is going to be the drain that's inside of your home or business, a floor drain yes. or any other type of drain or opening. It could be a shower, a toilet, anything yes. like that. This is the clean out that's outside of every residence or building on every single property. And that's where you'll be putting your device. And this represents the sewer. So this is where the, the backflow of the sewage would come from in those instances where you've got the sewer system overwhelmed by flooding or some other emergency situation. Yes, and that can be flooding, groundwater flooding. It could be from a storm surge such as a tornado or hurricane where wa water is coming into the sewer system throughout the area and pushing water into the, the sewer systems and creating a backflow. Which actually pushes against that sewage. That's true and it becomes a, a particular problem because you don't want that in your building. Well Sean if you want to push that bus button we'll give a demonstration of what it somewhat looks like during a backflow and the water would be coming up starting to come up your drains. Um, that's what it looks like. So this is representing that backflow that's coming into your home, filling up your, your carpets and your floors, getting on your walls and your furniture. And we wanted to show you just how simple and how fast this actually works. So you the, can actually put this in as it's, as it's occurring. Yes, you can. Okay, this is the flood plug. You're wrong. Yeah, once you get that hose unkinked, that plug will stay in place. Yes. Okay. Then um, you take a normal bicycle pump and you blow this up to our prescribed pressures here. Which is 20 PSI and there's a gauge on your, on the, on your device. On the system to tell you exactly how much. Okay. You'll notice the backflow is still continuing until it gets to the prescribed pressure. So we can see it's starting to diminish it. Then just hook this, unhook this, and you're ready to evacuate or to um, cure the problem. You'll see that's, that's actually stopped. There's some residual water just falling off there. Okay, sounds Come like we need to turn that, that off now. Okay, and the backflow has stopped. You can see that that took me less than 15, 10 minutes, actually five minutes to put this in. And how long can you leave this in place? You can actually leave it in for a week. We okay. don't recommend that you would leave it in more than that. Um, the backflow stopped, uh, you can evacuate or when the uh, problem for the backflows into your building has stopped, the city says it's okay you can now stop, um, you can take it out and how you do that is just let the air out of the system and pull it out. And then everything that's in the, the line will go on through the system like it was supposed to. Just normally, yes. None of this pressure will come back into your house even when you take it out. So we're pretty excited about it. These are, um, these are developed here in Utah. We're excited about that. We're excited that, that Sean has taken interest in this. Thank you, Sean. You're welcome. Anything to help save the people out there from a cleanup? You can't just clean these up yourself very easily. Um, 
You said that it costs about $15,000 to do a cleanup. That's an average cleanup. It can be much more than that where they have to take out carpets and furniture, pads and some and part of the wall. And then sanitize and everything. And then sanitize everything. And usually that's a, that's a big deal. And so this with with the with with this system in place in less than 10 minutes you can have it stopped. And uh, it, it works really really well. We're pretty proud of it. Very good. We look forward to seeing some questions and comments down here on the video and we'll do our best to answer them for you. Thank you for your time.